Hello everyone, it's Joe from OnePageZen.com and today in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to set up free auto-renewing SSL certificates for your WordPress website on Google Cloud Platform. Now before starting this tutorial you should have already done two things. The first is you should have already launched a WordPress installation on Google Cloud Platform. The second thing you should have already done is pointed your domain name to your WordPress installation on Google Cloud Platform. If you haven't done either of those things yet, I have links to those tutorials in the description to this video. So let's get started. The first step in this tutorial is to head on over to our Google Cloud Platform dashboard, click the hamburger menu in the upper left hand corner of the screen, go to our compute engine, then to our VM instances. Now you can see here I have my WordPress Bitnami installation here. So I'm going to click the SSH button to connect to my server. Okay, now that I am connected to my server, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run a command that is going to install the certbot files. So you can copy and paste these commands directly from the tutorial on my website. So I'm going to paste the command. And what the certbot client does is it's going to manage the certificate auto renewals so that we uh, don't have to renew them ourselves. Additionally, the certbot is responsible for issuing the SSL certificates. So I'm going to run the command. All right. So now that you've installed the CertBot client, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to issue our certificates. So I'm going to paste that command. Now, you're going to have to change the domain name in the certificate issuing command. So as you can see here, I'm going to be issuing the certificates for the domain onepagezen.com and www.onepagezen.com. So you need to change both of these uh, one page Zen fields to your own domain name. So once you do that, press enter. Enter Y. All right, now enter your email address. Press enter. Enter A, enter N. Perfect, now if you see this congratulations message here, it means that your certificates have been issued successfully. All right, so the next step in this tutorial is to test our certificate auto renewal function. So I'm going to paste the following command, press enter. Excellent, now you can see here again, if you get the congratulations message, it means that the certificate auto renewal function is working. All right, so the next step in this tutorial is we're going to set up a cron tab. Now the purpose of a cron tab is to automatically check to see if our certificates are due for renewal and if they are due for renewal to automatically renew them. So I'm going to paste the following command, press enter, and I'm gonna enter one to use nano as my text editor and I'm gonna scroll down to the bottom of the file and I'm going to paste the following command. Now this command is going to tell CertBot to check for renewals two times per day. So I'm gonna do Control X and Enter Y, press Enter. Now the next step in this tutorial is we're gonna to have to configure our certificates. So I'm going to paste this command which is going to open up our Bitnami configuration file. So I'm gonna press enter. All right, now I'm going to scroll down the page 
And within the virtual host default 80 brackets, I'm going to paste a few lines of code. And this is going to tell our server to only serve the HTTPS secure version of our site. So remember, you need to replace one page Zen with your own domain name in each of these three lines. So after you've done that, scroll down the page some more. Now when you get to the lines where you have the two SSL certificate files listed, we're gonna put a pound sign next to both of them. And underneath them, we're going to paste the path to our own SSL certificate files, the, one that we, the ones that we just generated using CertBot. So I'm going to paste those. Now remember, in this case as well, you need to replace one page Zen with your own domain name. So don't forget to do that in all three of these uh, certificate paths here. So once you've done that, you can press Control X and then enter Y, press Enter, Perfect. So the next step in this tutorial is we're gonna to have to change our WordPress URLs in our wp-config.php file. Now, as you can see here, all the previous commands have disappeared. And that's simply because I pressed enter a bunch of times and that scroll down, scrolls down the page. Now that won't affect anything. So in order to open up our wp-config.php file, I'm gonna paste the following command and I'm going to press enter. Now I'm going to scroll down towards the middle of the wp-config.php file. I'm just pressing my down arrow key. And here you can locate these two lines of code that each start with define. And I'm going to delete both of these lines. And in their place, I'm going to copy these two lines of code and I'm going to paste them. And I'm gonna make a few changes to them. The first is I'm gonna add an S after HTTP. And here where it says ex example, I'm gonna put in my domain, which is one page zen.com. And I'm actually gonna add the www. Now, if you don't want your website to be served with www, you can uh, leave out the www dot here. But I want my website to be served with www dot. So I'm adding that here. All right. Now I'm also going to yeah, go backspace there. Perfect. Now your code should look just like this. So look it over. The only thing that should be different from yours is the domain. So change that, make sure that is your own domain. So I'm gonna do control X, Y, enter. And I'm gonna press enter a few times, I'll scroll down. All right, now the very last step in this tutorial is to restart your Apache server. So I'm going to paste the following command and press enter. There we go, and our server successfully restarted. So now in order to make sure that my website is being served via HTTPS, I'm going to go to a new browser window here and I'm going to enter my domain name and I'm gonna press enter. And there we go. As you can see, my site is loading with the green padlock here and it's loading with the www version of the domain that I put in my wpconfig.php file from the last step. Thanks a lot for watching this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment box below. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and check out onepagezen.com for more useful 
Google Cloud Tutorials. Thanks a lot for watching.